Hey guys, Vince94 here, and today I got something in the mail. It is a box, and inside the box is a GBA hardware clone called the Revo K101 Plus, and I'm going to be unboxing it today. Now, um, a lot of unboxing videos uh, have like a bunch of rambling, so I'm just going to get straight to the point. And in, fa in fact, if you just want to skip to uh, when I'm turning it on, click right here. Here we got a USB to power adapter, a uh, little lanyard type thing, some uh, headphones, a USB charging cable, and the device itself comes in this bag. Here is a uh, micro SD reader and a video cable for playing on the TV. So let's take a look at the device. All right. Here is um, USB port, brightness control, um, the place where you, st you stick the, uh, the AV out cable, and a link port um, and or charging port. There is the uh, speaker buttons, feeling nice and buttony. I know that um, some uh, like hardware clone like things are. I've, I've heard people say, "Oh, it feels cheap," but this feels really nice. There is the cartridge port and the place for the O. Oh, and inside is, I believe, a micro SD card. I'm gonna see if. Either that or a dust jacket. How do I take it out? Ah, press down and then it pops out like so. Here's the micro SD card. Neat. Here's the cartridge. It's not gonna focus, that's okay. A headphone port, that's really nice. And a reset button that looks like it's one of those things from uh, uh, CD players and computers where you have to have a paper clip. On the side here is the volume control. It's a nice physical volume control, which I really miss these days with like the iPod when you ha where you have the two buttons that control the volume, and sometimes they don't work when you really need them to. This, let's see what this is. I'm not sure what this is. This is the power. This is the power button right there. And of course the left and right buttons. Here's the power adapter plugged into the wall and the USB port. Charging. Well, it's been about a couple months and I've gotten used to how this thing works so that I can properly uh, review it without being completely blind. Um, the, uh, the little um, SD card reader that it comes with is um, not really the best because every few minutes or so it acts as if there's no disk inserted even though the, um, even though the SD card is in there. Um, by, 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 by which uh, I, I don't I don't mean the uh, the console itself I mean um, this little thing that comes with it this little USB thing so when you're transferring ROMs watch out for that occasionally glitching up um, and make you know keep backups and everything but I was able to get quite a lot of stuff on here and um, I'll see if I can't uh, adjust the brightness here maybe it's not going to work. Maybe I'll just do this. There, that's better. So, I got a bunch of stuff, and um, the first thing I'm going to test out is Mother 3, because that's a big one with um, emulator lag. Um, a lot of people have problems with the rhythm combos. You'll notice, uh, you'll notice that the... Um, there is a bit of a border here. The screen is a little bit bigger than a normal Game Boy, which I'm not sure what to think about. You can adjust, like you can stretch it, or you can sort of half stretch it, which is kind of weird. But I just like to stick to orig original resolution, and you can set which one like you want to use in the settings. The uh, sound is really nice, and the headphone the headphone port's really nice too. Supposed to be an item that lets you 
Battle memory, that's what it's called. But I don't think I have it right now. Ah, here we go. This will be interesting. Nice. I really need to heal. Crap. Oh, thank goodness. Leave some cheese. No. No. Ah, uh, dang it. I'm not sure if the camera is capturing it properly, but it looks completely normal on, like, just from, you know, my eyes. Let's take a look somewhere else. This is one of my favorite, uh, a really fun one to combo to. Dang it. Yeah. Ah, oh, man. Something pretty cool you can do is um, different combinations of things with the um, brightness button. So like brightness down changes aspect ratio. I think you can, oh yeah, and the, it has X and Y buttons. The GBA didn't have X and Y buttons though, but they just act like other L and R buttons pretty much. So yeah, one of the, way, one of the things you can do is brightness L and you can um, go back to the list of stuff. Let's try an NES game. Mario 2. So yeah, as you can see, the uh, aspect ratio is still original GBA, um, and you can go up and down with the L and R buttons. This is a rewrite hack that I made. Maybe I'll make an ad for this later. Oh yeah, the um, speaker is right there, right where your thumb kind of wants to be. Oh well. Oh ah, man, it's kind of hard when you're at an angle where. It Oh, or, or like you have to be at an angle so that the camera can record it, which isn't really necessarily the angle that you want to play it at. Maybe I'll go like that. If you press L and R at once, it opens up this little menu here. I really hope that I'm up, like I, I'm in focus. Let's see there. So like you can um. Save state, load state, exit, which um, just goes back there. Um, so, oh yeah, you can scale it, but then it sort of squishes it. So you can see like the top's a bit off. Let's try unscaled, follow, Followed by Sprite, 
three. Mm. So that's that. Uh, MP3 files. So let's try something else. Yeah, MP3 files. Um, Game Boy games. Um, it works. But I can't get them to save. Like, it seems to have, like, you know... Like, I'm not sure how it looks. Uh, how, how it works. Just yet. Like, this is always here. But, um... It never saves my game, and I can't figure out why. Manage SRAM, game status, thingy, I'm not sure what that is. So I might have to email and ask, and maybe I'll, um, make a, uh, annotation, like here or something, with the answer, uh, how to get it to save. Display, um, you can change the palette for uh, non-color Game Boy games. Actually, let's try one of those, because this um, doesn't save. Oh, hey, okay. need to do that. Let's try Super Mario Land. Oh yeah, and it has uh, backgrounds, I guess. I think you can change the background uh, here. Maybe? Border. Some borders, Mega Man 5, black, gray, blue, or none, which can be interesting, because it kind of extends, but the game doesn't expect it to, so you might see some glitches. Here, I'll turn down the volume a little bit. So that's pretty cool. Um, uh, let's go with um, the black border. Super Balls. Seriously, that's what they're called. So that's cool. Um, Tintin. And the Temple of the Sun. This is a pretty cool game. Uh, I really like the Tintin comics and animated series from the 90s and uh, this is a really cool tie-in that was um, released in Europe I think and I'm not sure if it was released in America but um, it's pretty cool it's got a really amazing soundtrack too 
You got a key. I wonder if I can get that power up. Nope. Not, not too lucky. in focus? No, it's not. Where's Dr. Midge's office? It's at the end of the corridor. Well, anyway, this is, um, that's pretty cool, too. So there you have it. Let's try some Rhythm Heaven. That's another rhythm-based game that's hard on emulators. Vegetable. Eh. Cardigan. Here we go. Here we go. Eh, <laughs> sucker well. Uh, bomb. Mm. Mm. <laughs> Woohoo! That makes me just want to dance. See how cool the drums sound with like an actual song. Overall, really nice. You got a whole bunch of languages here. Yeah, here's the. Display device, LCD or TV. Key sound, on and off. I kind of like it, though. RTC, I think that has to do with the clock. Um, wait. How do I go back? January. So that's, that's sort of like setting a alarm clock. <laughs> uh, file filter. So you, you can use this to, 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 to set what um, file extensions show up on the main menu. Miscellaneous boot up screen, which is the, um, and GBA splash screen, which is the ring ding thing. Um, you can turn that on and off, which is kind of cool. Boot up screen is just this little thing that says re uh, Revoke 101, and um, I don't know, uh, auto sleep countdown. This is really nice. Um, you can have the device go into sort of sleep mode after like s several minutes of inactivity. Save settings. Help. Now this shows you what different brightness combinations you can use. So brightness right will um, switch between LCD and the TV. The thing in L goes back to the menu. Um, supported file types. What they're using for the NES is a, uh, a, um, a thing written specifically for the GBA 
so it can't take advantage of the big screen resolution, but um, maybe in another firmware update? I don't know. Probably not. PC Engine game? I haven't played any of those. Sega 8-bit game? I haven't played any of those. Maybe the JPEG picture and a zipped game. So it sort of de detects what's in a zip file. That's kind of cool. And that's that. Um, overall, really good solution for playing Mother 3 with no input lag. Now, I know you can get um, reproduction carts of Mother 3 that have been, like, made uh, without, you know, Tomato and the translation team's permission. And, like, he said uh, on quite a few occasions on, like, Earthbound Central Live, his, uh, his live stream, that it makes him feel weird to see, like, stuff being sold that he, like, spent all that time on. Uh, it's like like other people making money off of it, and some of them are even badly uh, burned, like copies of the ROM that are like a couple of bytes off in a few places, and so they freeze. And um, I think that like stuff like this, or the uh, the Easy Flash Four, which is a an alternate like a flash card for use with like a normal GBA. I think that this kind of thing is a much better way to to play Mother 3 as it was originally intended. Anyway, um, thanks for watching all this way, if you're still here. Subscribe for uh, probably not more unboxing videos. Definitely uh, more um, music, though. That's one of my favorite things to do.